Hello and welcome back to Particular Pixels. I'm Shaoling and for any of you who've purchased Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC, you're probably well aware of the issues that plague the game at this point. I myself was locked out of the game for about 24 hours due to the launcher crashing all the time and Rockstar's patches didn't do anything to help that problem. I ended up having to update my windows to feature set at 1903 in order to get the game to load. Fortunately for me though, once the game was actually loaded, I have not had any of the issues listed in the Reddit thread with the exception of one. And that is when holding shift, it causes the view to become very stuttery. Through my testing, I've noticed that it's not only connected to shift, it's connected to any of the modifier keys in the game. So shift, control and alt. And if you're holding any of them down while you mouse look around the screen, it causes the view to become very stuttery, but not affecting the frame rate. The solution obviously is to map any of the functions that are bounded to these modifier keys to other keys. What I did once this was done was I actually changed the functions of the shift control and alt keys on my keyboard using the keyboard software to behave like the keys that I'd remapped in Red Dead Redemption 2. So pressing shift would be essentially pressing another key on the keyboard. And as a direct result, this no longer caused a stutter issue. If your keyboard software doesn't support this kind of feature to remap keys, you can use a program called Auto Hotkey to do the remapping for you. And while this is not an ideal solution, it is a temporary workaround for this issue, for at least for those of you who are getting this issue. So you can at least sprint around still using the shift key uh, without the downside of the view stuttering all the time. Outside of this particular issue, I have not come across any other major issues in my time with the game so far. I do think the performance could be better and they certainly need to improve the mouse and UI interaction in this game because it's clearly not being designed for PC. Anyway, hopefully some of you found this video helpful if you are having this particular issue. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I've been Shaoling and I'll see you next time.